So the other day, one of my viewers, the user encouraged you, commented on my video and said, can you do a video on how you set up your outer lock screen? Well, referring to the outer lock screen on my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. So in this video, I'll be showing you how I actually set up my lock screen. Let's get into it. Afshin, this is SKMDK back with another video. So as I've said, I'll be showing you how I actually set up the lock screen on my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. Now what we'll need to actually customize the lock screen is the Lockstar module from the Good Lock app. And depending on where you reside, there's two ways of getting this. If you are lucky enough to be in a place where actually Samsung supports this Good Lock app, you can go to your Galaxy store and actually search for Good Lock and then be able to install it and then also install the Logstar app that we're going to be using, a Logstar module that we're going to be using. Now, if you're unlucky, just like me and be in a place where Samsung doesn't support the Good Lock app, there's a way to actually do this with an app called Nice Lock. Now we'll look at how to actually set it up on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. You want to then go to Play Store and then search for Nice Lock, right? It should be the first result that you get, the Nice Lock launcher for Good Lock. Download it and you can then open it and then you can then look for the Logstar module. Now you can actually, usually it should not be installed when you, the first time you actually set it up. You can then click on here, it should redirect you to where you can actually install the module itself. But I like actually just going to Google uh, search and then searching for APK Mirror Logstar. Should be the first result that you get and then, uh, and then you can then select, check the latest version click on download and then you should then be able to download uh, the APK and install it. Now, once you've actually done that, now you wanna go back to your nice lock app and then click on Logstar. And the first thing you wanna do is actually enable it so that it can actually take control of your lock screen. So enable there. And then it gives you, actually you have two options. You can actually set your, your lock screen layout differently for your uh, portrait orientation as well as landscape orientation. I'll only just show you portrait, but it's the same settings. So you then go to portrait. And then the first thing you actually see is how you want to position your widgets on your lock screen, uh, how you want to position the help message, the, the clock itself, the music widget, as well as the contact information. And then what you then want to do is you want to then, um, so what's the, once that is set up, you can set it up as you as you like. You can actually also click on auto layout and then it will actually set it up uh, based on, I think, based on the spacing. And then the next thing you want to do, if you want to then set it exactly like I've set it in mine, you go to wallpaper, then you can select any wallpaper, but I've actually gone and selected here where it goes to the native settings for the wallpaper. And then I selected the wallpaper service called Samsung Global Goals. And so that's what I'm actually using. Then once you set up that, then the next thing you want to do is you want to set up the clock. Now there's a variety of clocks that you, you can set up here. I've decided to go for well, the one that you've seen uh, on the video is this one. Uh, the one says uh, that just shows the timer and it's actually in the middle. So you can go for it. You can actually also again change the size of how it looks. I've just decided to select medium. And then what you want to then do after is go to items. You can then select how you actually want to, to which widgets you want them to show. So when you click on this, it will then disable the widget, the lock icon, the help test, which is at the bottom, the status bar, as well as what I've actually recently noticed when I was actually setting up this video is you can actually also change how many shortcuts you can actually see. You can right just have the default ones and, or you can actually have more than this and aligned in different ways. And then, then if you want to set it up, then you will have to then click on it. And then you can go to YouTube Studio if that's the shortcut app that you want. And actually, if you're actually enjoying this video, I would like that you hit the like button so that it can actually be promoted to more people who might actually enjoy it. And consider subscribing also. So I'll just actually go with the default. Um, sorry, I'll just go with the default. And that's it. Actually, that's how I've set mine up. And then you can just then click on save and yeah that's it so it's actually very easy but it actually gives you a variety of how a lot of options that you can choose so yeah that was it i hope you like the video and 
if you actually have more questions just like I encourage you who sent that question thank you once again to encourage you for sending the question i really appreciate it when you interact with me on the comment box so if you have any question do not hesitate to uh, post on the on my on, on the on the comment section and then until then see you in the next one stay being awesome cheers